So I'm just going to show you a quick tip uh, with wiggle. As you know, wiggles are quite handy for uh, giving an object some random motion. So if I alt stopwatch click this, I can write an expression wiggle. And then the first value is the frequency, so one. And then the second value is the amplitude, so 100. And basically, if I add this expression and render, it adds some kind of uh, random motion onto the position values. Now, sometimes uh, people have asked me how I can uh, apply wiggle to just one coordinate. So imagine you only want it to go up and down along the y-axis. To do that, it's very simple. Just create a variable. So a equals wiggle 1 100. And then it's expecting three position values. So open square brackets, value 0, which is the x value. We'll, we leave that alone. The next value, y, we type in a and then square brackets 1 for y. And then comma value open square brackets 2. And that's just the x, uh, sorry, the z position just left alone. And then close square brackets. And as you can see now, we've got wiggle only, only along one axis. And what we can do is we can create another variable, b wiggle frequency 1, amplitude 500, a lot more erratic, and then we can add that to the x, so just get rid of value and put in b there, and now we've got wiggle along x. And uh, if you want nice smooth motion, keep that first value kind of quite low, otherwise if that value's high, then it's going to be really erratic. As you can see, it's not kind of, if you want it easy on the eye, then give it a low value and then just for uh, demonstration purposes we can create a C variable wiggle say 2 1000 and then we can assign that to the Z position and now we've got uh, a wiggle in three dimensions so uh, yeah I hope that's a handy little tip and uh, thanks for watching